Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me. This is a special occasion unboxing and assembly of Acer GN246HL black 24 inch gaming monitor that has 144 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time. Guys, guys, this is no joke, okay? This is gaming monitor at its best, okay? Admittedly, it's only 1080p, but oh my lord, is this thing sweet, okay? Now check the box and also check this awesome knife from uh, um, Bass Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, it's a pairing knife, but you know it's okay. We're gonna use it for this unboxing video, and this is obviously not something I do all the time on my ch channel. But uh, you know it's time to uh, you know uh, break it up, bring something new to the channel, right? You know. So all right, guys, let's check it out. So we have. Um, let's see here starting with the dual dual link DVI Cable now don't get it confused with the regular one. This one is twice as thick and this is a VGA cable Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about analog crap. This is the power cord that goes in the back of the monitor Okay, has a little uh, I don't even know what the voltage that is probably like 12 volts or something like that But it's super sweet nonetheless here is a mounting bracket so this connects the monitor and the bottom base of the monitor itself super cool super cool now i'm going to be very careful here trying to unbox this admittedly i bought this as a refurb so it's a refurbished and and you know what i don't mind i don't mind because sometimes i prefer refurbished stuff you know what i mean actually i uh, you know what i mean like you know if something was broken and then they send it back to manufacturer they actually have a person uh, as you can see here, oh yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's obviously uh, refurbished, but it's it's like new, you'll see guys, it has even like a protection like stickers on it, but yeah, it goes back to the manufacturer and you have an actual person, uh, uh, you know, reassemble it and make sure everything's rocking, this is the bottom base, you know, it's, you, can, you, can, you can tell that it still has like, a, see the protective, protective sticker on it, I'll show you whenever I remove it next time, but yeah, the per actual person, you know touches it and make sure that everything's working instead of a robot from assembly so in in that sense i like i like a lot refurbished items you know always had good luck with them you know <clears throat> and this is um bought directly from the manufacturer or um approved re refurbisher i guess but the company was called acer that i bought uh, from on ebay it was only 161 dollar i uh, here's the uh, the the monitor itself the panel itself if you will and um, as you can see I mean I know it's a refurbished but when I pop this bad boy open or when I pull it out of this bag um, that's what she said um, you will see that it's super clean I did not find a single scratch on it and it still has a protective sticker there you see how I'm like pulling on it and uh, I'll eventually pull on that and you know we'll you know once I'm uh, well once we get to that guys once we get to that but yeah, oh my god, this is, uh, I'm super happy I tested it, and uh, for some of the gaming, you know, I don't do gaming a lot, but I do occasionally, but it's really good for those high fast pace game, high, 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 fast pace games, <laughs> fast pace games, so I tested it on Team Fortress 2, it did really well, I was really surprised how well, how much of a difference it makes as opposed to uh, 60 hertz, right? And uh, mil one millisecond response time. That's the power button. Yay! I'm pointing at the power button. But yeah, no means am I. Uh, you know, th th obviously this is not a. Uh, this is where the that uh, where the um, what you call it. Okay, so that's the the, the power uh, cable goes in there, and I'm just gonna point to the VGA next. Yes, that's right. Point to the VGA next, and then once I move this over, it's DVI and then HDMI. Yep, self-explanatory, guys. But yeah, keep in mind that actual DVI connection, you have to have a dual link cable, which it came with. It's a, it's a different connector in the back, and otherwise you won't get 144 hertz refresh rate, because that's the whole point of this. And yeah, it's you can really tell it's twice as thick. So right now I'm just removing the uh, protection, protection stuff, and uh, see, I'm not even sure. Like, once they refurbish it, I guess they put that sticker stuff on there, the protective layer of that uh, nylon on there, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it's very typical from what I've seen on, uh, you know, refurbished items that I've purchased. You know, it's it's like it's like new guys, but 
I think it's even better because actual person, you know, uh, you know, actually reassembled it, I guess, and fixed it, make sure that everything's working perfectly. And you know, the difference from refurbished to like brand new item that I found was usually like 10 to 20 bucks, you know, but it appears that I'm just connecting that part that came uh, out of it initially. And there's just like a bottom, this it just kind of plugs in and there's a little bottom, you know, typical of a monitor that just kind of screws in to hold it. Um, but these monitors kind of run around uh, around 200 bucks on average, brand new, sometimes cheaper. I mean, depends if you, if you shop around, you can find it cheaper, but I decided to go with the eBay one just because I like to, with, I'd rather deal with eBay if in case I have to return and there are issues, you know. And lately I've had a couple of issues when I buy stuff that was uh, Chinese made, I guess, Chinese copies of things and things don't work, you know. So I go through eBay and, and not to say, I mean, this is most likely built in China as well, but you know, the quality stuff of original stuff as opposed to copy varies, you know, but I've also had good luck and there's a little, I kind of pointed to it briefly there. There's a screw there guys that, uh, um, helps uh, hold that bracket. See when I push it in for the, uh, for the base itself, when I push it in, um, you just kind of use a screwdriver to, uh, it's kind of neat actually that it's not like lost. It has like a little spring and it doesn't really pop out. You can just kind of stay as there. But I use my finger there and then I'll, I'll use a, a screwdriver here in, in a moment to screw this bad boy in, um, you know, just to make sure everything's sturdy. And I'm gonna flip it over here in a sec so you guys can get a really good view of how this bad boy looks like. But yeah, this is something new for me you know, not too serious or anything like that, you know, because I don't want all my videos to be super serious and I don't want to do the typical of cookie cutter, you know, uh, cookie cutter uh, videos that you see out there about hardware, you know, as you can see, it's actually a really nice looking monitor. Um, I really like the combination of base. It's fairly thin, um, but yeah, cookie cutter of what I guess other people do on YouTube, you know, and it's scripted and this and that. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying things that you know pop in my head. Trying to kind of trying to keep it real, and relax. There's no need to be serious all the time. You know, let's just relax and enjoy. You know, but as you can see, I like the matte finish of it. I'm glad it doesn't have a reflective surface. For some reason, I just I don't like when things are reflecting off of monitors. Like even some laptops, if it's reflective, I, I just. I don't know I don't like it I don't like the reflection of things you know um, but you know typical like touch screens they will have this is not a touch screen but I'm okay with that you know I prefer that flat matte finish right all right guys thank you so much for watching if you have time please go to facebook.com forward slash couple men and like my page I'll see you next time guys bye bye